I'm going to be testing Grey Zone War from my 4090. I'm going to do it at 4K so you can see I've got that resolution set here. Graphics wise, I've got everything set to the max, which is epic in this game. So you can see here all these settings are set to epic. We do have DLSS and frame generation. I'm going to have them switched off at first, but I'll check them out a little bit later in the video. So uh, let's have a look. So this game is Unreal Engine 5. I know we've had some issues with performance on those games recently. Hellblade 2, for example, at least on my build, didn't play particularly well. Looked like it did a little bit better on AMD CPUs. But we'll have to see how it goes. We'll check out the LSS in a little bit. I'm just going to get on this helicopter. I don't really know what I'm doing on this game. I think he's going to take us in by the looks of it. See the Get to see the map a little bit. It's a... It's a it's a nice looking game though. A lot of these Unreal Engine 5 games so far have looked pretty good. It's just a bit of a shame about performance. I know we have seen a lot of the games release with pretty poor performance, but often they get improved quite a bit later on. I know this is actually still in early access, so maybe there is potential there. Our frame time's not looking too good though, is it? Look at that. Look how choppy that is. But the map looks really nice. Look at this. Wonder how far out we can go. Assume the map. Can we look at the map? I don't know how I zoom out. But it seems for the most part it's hovering around that 40 fps area average of 39 the 0.1% low isn't looking too good it's 13 at the moment like i say is stuttering a little bit i do get i do feel some micro stutters in the game and you can obviously see that in the frame time on the rest of the gpu though it doesn't look too bad just under 13 gigs of vram it's not that bad power wise it's pretty low just over 300 but we're still mostly keeping GPU usage maxed out. Sitting at 97, 98%. It's dipped down a little bit, 94%. I'm going to follow this guy. Does he know what he's doing? That's the question. He's got an AK-47. I'm just going to go. Not entirely sure. Airfield. I don't actually even know what the controls are. He's following me, is he? Yep. So I pretty much just dropped straight into the game. So I do know there is like missions and stuff. There's AI, but I think there's also other players. Look at these graphics though. The graphics are crazy. I could do with a bit of a better scope on this gun. Holographics not really cutting it. Is that a guy? This could all end very badly. But this guy's following me, so... Getting a lot of weird lighting issues as well, I'm noticing on stuff. Whoa. What happened here? him no assume that was another player was he just waiting there for us I'm just gonna go I'm gonna take a little detour don't want to run straight in But it definitely seems to, to keep around that 40 FPS, I would say. Even in the dense forest areas, it doesn't drop too badly. It mostly hangs around there. And the, the, the stuttering does feel better when you're actually running around. I'm getting some drops here, though, actually. 33, 31. Oof. 30. We're going to see 20s. That's rough. I think I'm out. Am I out of stamina? I think I might be out of stamina. I can hear someone. Have a little... Can I climb that? Oh. He's 
It's really hard to shoot this gun. I think I got him. I've just started a, another gun fight. Right, they got down there. There's definitely at least one more, because you can hear him taking shots. Don't know where he is, though. Behind that fence, maybe. Look at... <laughs> They've got scopes, so they can actually see, but... I might go just make a little run for it. Oh, he's there, he's there. Can I tag? Got him. Oh, there's more. There's no one on the road. Look at this here now. This is cool. I'm gonna. F I'm gonna go in this way. Go and can I get around? Maybe. Oh, that guy. I'm now going to take a look with the LSS on, so I've got it set to quality, you can see that here. And that looks like it's improved our FPS a little bit, it's not a massive difference though, maybe about 10 FPS on average, we're hitting 50 FPS here a little bit more. Definitely seen our CPU usage come up quite a bit though, 20%, 22, 23%, so that's quite a bit higher, obviously putting up scaling on does go more CPU bound, that's quite a big difference. Has dropped our power down by quite a bit as well. It's almost like 60, 70 watts I think, we had about 300 at native 4Ks, there's quite a big difference there as well. But then obviously in turn it has increased my CP power quite a bit. Uh, not noticing too much different image quality wise. So it drops the quality like ever so slightly but... Can't really notice. I wonder if it'll sort that lighting thing out. Does it? I haven't actually seen it since I switched uh, DLSS on. It looks a little bit better, it's not giving me those weird... Weirdly lit areas where it's like, you know, f look, like looks really fuzzy and going like dark and stuff. Definitely seen that GPU usage come down though, ninety three percent there now, fluctuating quite a bit between ninety three and like ninety six, ninety seven. So there's definitely some improvement there that we could have. I can hear more. Damn, I need a sight on my gun. Gonna be in that building, aren't they? It's a bit dark in here. Oh no, I'm gonna get stuck behind the door. I don't know who's shooting now. Can you just pick up all this stuff? You can. Okay, there's got to be another team here now or something. And I've actually now somehow managed to come out of the compound. Oh my goodness. Is that an enemy team? Oh no, I'm hit, I'm hit. I don't know how you heal. See, I can definitely feel like I can tell the difference here between DLSS quality and native. I'm getting up to 55 FPS here though. So, definitely going to see a fluctuation in frames, I think, from the kind of denser town city areas to then outside. Almost hitting 60 there. But I, I think you can definitely tell here between DLSS quality and native. I'm now going to take a look with DLSS and frame generation on, so I've got the upscaling set to quality and I've got frame generation on here. Now by the looks of it, I'm hoping this should be a little bit more playable. Seems like we're seeing almost 90 FPS there, got an average of 86 at least in the uh, the kind of base area. I'll call in a uh, chopper. The only thing is, is I couldn't really get back, I think if I call it into the... 
It wouldn't come collect me last time. I don't know if that's because I was just too close. But it seems like we're breaking 90 FPS there. So it's not quite double. We had about 45 to 50 with just DLSS quality. So it's definitely a lot better than that. I'll have a little playthrough. Definitely think I can... Obviously, we've still got the upscaling on. I can definitely tell image quality-wise here. It does look like it's... Fixed our stuttering, the frame time a little bit. We'll check it out in the chopper because I know when we were flying the, in the chopper last time, it, um, that was actually when the frame time looked the worst. So we'll see what it's like this time with frame generation on. Alright, here we go. See what it's like. Because I know as soon as we took off last time, it looked really bad, the frame time. So you're seeing it a little bit there. Definitely looks better, though. Look at that stuttering. Mm, st it is still doing the stuttering. It's just the frame time doesn't look quite as bad, but it's definitely still stuttering. But with a bit of luck, it doesn't dip below 60. I'm seeing 67 there. Dip below 60 with frame generation on really would be quite tragic. Not feeling any latency at all either. Can't tell the difference between the uh, the two. With frame generation on or off, I don't think you're better the difference in terms of latency. It feels the same. I'm just gonna keep running. I can't pull the map up. That could be a problem. Why can't I pull the map up? Oh, there we go. Right, so there are some allies here. There's two guys here. This is a bad idea. Where'd the other guy go? Did he run back inside? I didn't see where he went. I am still getting that flickering as well again. DL just having DLSS on, DLSS quality, it seemed to stop that flickering, but I'm getting it again now with frame generation on. Same as what I had at native. So I can see over, get a little cheeky. I don't know, can I hold, what's, um? can you hold your breath on this? Check fire. Hold breath. You can. What was it left out? Oh my goodness, that makes it way easier. Because look at the sway. There's quite a lot of sway. I mean, to be honest, I have been getting some kills. It hasn't been too bad, but it definitely makes it easier with holding breath. It's a bit of a weird keybind, though. Shall I just climb this? Oh, I don't know where that other guy went. There's a guy. Wow, that is a lot more accurate holding the breath. So even here with GPU power, it seems like it's brought my power down a little bit, but it has increased VRAM, obviously switching frame generation on, so... Sitting at 15 gig now, which is actually quite a lot for Unreal Engine 5. Normally, it's obviously a lot lower than other games. That's actually creeping up a little bit. Be probably some of the higher VRAM usage I've seen in Unreal Engine 5. Almost similar to 4. Because you'd expect it 4K oftentimes in even Unreal Engine 4. Especially with ray tracing, you can hit 15, 16 gig. See, I think the I think they must have been around here. There's, there's a lot of bodies down there. But they look like enemies. I 
I'm really getting a lot of stuttering here. Look at my frame time. He did not like that area. Definitely, I think the game definitely needs some work. Obviously, it is early access, so... Not going to be too harsh on it. But hopefully, some of that gets fixed out and optimised a little bit. There's a guy there. Try and headshot him. is not a good idea. There's another one. Where did that come from? Was he on the roof? He's right there. I'm also not entirely sure what I'm supposed to be looting because I can't... Actually, I... Could probably loot an AK-47, I think, now. I've got the backpack. There's definitely one more. If you've enjoyed this video, click one of the videos on the screen now to see me testing more GPUs, and I'll catch you next time.